It's changed my life because I have to be tougher. If there's anything Luke Giamova mm. is, it's tough. Ow. He has a lot of responsibility for a seven-year-old. When you wait. On July 6, 2018, Luke learned he had type 1 diabetes. When I'm good, it's supposed to show great. His mom, Rachel, is a nurse and saw signs that something was off. Weight loss, frequent urination, and being extra thirsty. She remembers him eating these M&Ms, then chugging two bottles of water. I just knew in my stomach that something was wrong. There was no family history. It really just came out of the blue. Type 1 diabetes means the pancreas can't produce enough insulin, leading to too much blood sugar. and that can be deadly. When I was in the hospital, I noticed that it was going to be a big deal. Why did God give me it all? And I knew I was going to have a purpose. What do you think that purpose is? To teach others and help them go through it. It's pretty clear he has the maturity and courage of someone well beyond his years. It's needed because life doesn't come easy now. We keep him alive every day. For a proper nurse, he had to change schools. He has to count carbs, prick his finger, and take up to five insulin shots a day. Well, the purpose of it is to monitor my blood sugar. But there's something or someone they believe could help. I just want a dog. But not just any dog. I was just like, this is so cool. Service alert dogs are trained to smell when their owner's blood sugar is off. They can either heal or sit up and tap you to tell you that the sugar's high or they'll kneel like lay, lay down to tell you that it's low. Golden retrievers, poodles and labradoodles are most commonly used, but it's costly. A fully trained dog can cost $15,000. So Luke's mom is asking for help online. I would have a new friend, a buddy for a lifetime. Hoping for a friend and protector to help him face this lifelong battle. In Destrahan, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. We'll have a link to the GoFundMe account on our website at WWLTV.com, but they're also opening to hearing from trainers who know of dogs that could be a good fit.